Beatles. Probably the greatest band of all time. At least in my opinion, they are. And fun thing to do for most Beatles fans is try to memorize every song of theirs. Which is a thing that I like to do most of the time. How do I like to do it? In this website right here. This is Beatle. Beatle is basically a, it's basically Wordle, but for Beatles songs. And there are many different modes here. Um, you, the, you can do like a daily play for audio, which is the thing most people do, you know, every day with the Wordle, but this time with the Beatles song. I've already done this one earlier in the day, and I uh, got it correct in the first try, and, it got, and I got Norwegian wood. And you can do but, but much harder with lyrics, and I, and I was incorrect. And I, all the five tries, and I happened to be paperback writer. Or what we are going to do today is do a free play mode where every single time you, you are going to be um, you're going to be like uh, given like one second and then if you get it wrong the second try you get two seconds and so on and so on and so on and I expect myself to really mess up most of the time because I'm not too familiar with most of the Beatles songs unfortunately even though I do really love the Beatles there are some songs when I played this game most of them either come from with the Beatles or the White Album. Two albums that I am, am I have almost I almost know nothing about. So but everything else I think I should be okay with. Or at least have a chance to. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna do song number one. Hopefully it's not too hard so we can <laughs> start this off with a W, so and of course it's uh, one second for copyright purposes. Okay, so the that's that's a guitar solo, kind of. And I'm not sure what this is. And yeah, I'm probably gonna skip this one because it's also a good opportunity for me to know what I want. You, she's so heavy. Okay. I'm not too uh, I'm not familiar with the first songs, first few songs of Abbey Road. I'm I'm familiar with like Come Together, Here Comes the Sun, and of course the medley. But besides that, I'm not too familiar with the other stuff from Abbey Road. But I just remember the hard cut of I Want You. She's so heavy. So so far we started off with a big no. Um, I don't know what that is. I was about to say it's the beginning of Sgt. Pepper, but it's the beginning, so it would be right around here where my cursor is. But this is somewhere in in the middle. And it's definitely not the parts of the Sgt. Pepper title track either, so I don't know this one either, man. Revolution 9! Of course it's Revolution 9. Uh, I, I have not listened to all 8 minutes of this song, and I don't plan to at all. Okay. This makes me think of Hello Goodbye, because of the first few vocals on it. No, it's not. Um, I was about to say it's here, there, everywhere, but it's not. Here, there, everywhere is pretty consistent most of the time, so I don't know what this is either. Your mother should know. Okay. One I don't really know of, Magical Mystery Tour. But I did guess Hello Goodbye, which is another song of Magical Mystery Tour, so I was getting close. <laughs> okay, what's next? Okay. We finally get our first victory here. That is Come Together. Okay. We got our first W. <laughs> so yeah, that is Come Together. You can immediately tell by the Shoot Me intro. By the way, I love that music video. Wow. 
What is this one? I'm gonna go on a wild guess and say that this is Octopus's garden. I'm not too sure about it. Oh! Okay, so that was the opening. Yeah. I'm gonna post this on Internet Archive because that part is definitely gonna get copyright striked. But yeah. Is that that one good? That's one of my most favorites of all time. So yeah, that is definitely I've Got a Feeling. It's just by McCartney screaming. I can obviously tell this is I've Got a Feeling. So we got that one. Okay. This could be. I don't know. Because... Like I said with I Want You, She's So Heavy, I'm not too familiar with most of the stuff of Abbey Road, unfortunately. I, I really need to do a full listen of Abbey Road, because I've heard some snippets of this song, and I've heard a few snippets of I Want You, She's So Heavy as well, specifically the ending. But I need to do a full listen of Abbey Road someday, that would be fun. Oh, that is a good one. Yeah, okay, I was about to say, that is not Revolution 9. <laughs> that is definitely the single version of Revolution. By the way, I love the video version more than the single version. Even though the mics are pretty bad in this one. Um, but besides that, this one, the, this, this is one of my favorites. I like this one. And by the way, just, it just... It, Okay, yeah, that is here, there, everywhere. But just like you saw, we guessed four songs correctly, but I skipped uh, the one of Because, so our score is reset. So, yeah. That is here, there, everywhere. So, yeah. One of my favorites from Revolver. Okay, what's next? What is that supposed to be? Hold on, hold on. I need, I need to... A part of me is saying that it's I am the walrus, but I need to make sure. Hold on. Yep, it's I am the walrus. I heard, I heard, I, I was, I was hearing the song in my head. But yeah, this is I am the walrus, definitely. If, if, if Strawberry Fields is not on Magical the Mystery Tour. Like, I think that's Michelle, I think. But yeah, if Strawberry Fields Forever was not on Magical Mystery Tour, then I'm the Walrus uh, would be my favorite on that one. But I think this is Michelle. Hold on. The only word. Yeah, from the guitar chords, I can tell. This, this one is Michelle, yeah. A very underrated track, in my opinion, from Rubber Soul. A part of me is saying it's Love Me Do, but I'm not sure. We're gonna do a wild guess and say it's Love Me Do. I was correct! <laughs> it is Love Me Do. Okay. I'm shocked I got that one correct. But yeah, as you can see, our score is not 8,000, it's 5,000. Uh. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I think this, this this is something I'm not too familiar with, I think. Hold on, hold on, I need to look at my game right into this, hold on. Uh. Uh. Is this no reply? I think this is no reply, hold on. It's gotta be no reply. Yes, it is. No reply. I heard like I heard like the like the guitar chords once again, just like Michelle. Like it made me think like okay, this is no reply. Hmm. What could that be? I I wonder. That doesn't sound like a song to me. <laughs> yeah, it's Revolution Nine. <laughs> 
if if you hear like if there's something like in the half or a third quarter that does not sound like a like an that does not have any instrumental or vocals, then that is Revolution Nine. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Okay, that caught me off guard. I don't know what that is. It sounds like something from Rubber Rubber Soul, but I don't know what it is, and I don't want to lose my score now. Just got a second instrumental. Um, this is either Drive My Car or You Won't See Me, but I'm gonna go with You Won't See Me for now. Okay, it's You Won't See Me. Man, I am good at this. <laughs> You tell you, we're gonna do 20 songs today. We did 11. Uh, we did, um, yeah, right now we did 12 songs. We're gonna do 20 songs today. So yeah, this one is I've Got a Feeling by, from John's Iconic Vocals. I think this is We Can Work It Out. Because I'm hearing the song in my head and I remember that chord progression. And that chord progression got me to where it is. Like somewhere around here, obviously I can't play it because of copyright, but somewhere around here, that, that's where the part where I, like, like that's the part where I felt like, oh yeah, this is we can work it out. I don't know why they did not put this on Rubber Soul, but that's beyond oh, me. Man. Okay, that does not sound like something that's from the main album, so. I need to, I need to put my foot into this one. Hold on. I call your name? Okay, that it immediately popped up. Oh my goodness! I call your name. So yeah, this is from past, I said past members, but this, yeah, it's called Past Masters. Um, I'm not too familiar with stuff that's in Past Masters, besides Hey Jude and Revolution. Excuse me, I'm only familiar with the stuff in the names. But I don't I do know what this is. At least I think. Yes. This is from Magical Mystery Tour. I mean it started out as a single. All you need is love started out as a single for a movement after Sgt. Pepper. Then it went into Magical Mystery Tour. And then somehow, some way it went into Yellow Submarine. Like I don't know I don't know that, but whatever. Come on, click play. Oh, that's a rocker right there. A rocker that appeared in the Minions credits, but... Yeah, this is uh, Got to Get You into my, into my Life. Another one of my favorites from Revolver. So, yeah. Excuse me, uh, I mean, never mind. I was about to say, excuse me if we've done more than 20 songs, but we're just near the end with, like, 13,000 or 14,000 points. So, with 17 songs guessed. So, we're, we're good on this one. We're good. You know what? I Want You, She's So Happy is the only song I skipped the entire way through. And somehow, I'm doing good with the wild guesses, guys. How am I doing this? How? Am I doing this right now? This motivates me just to listen to Ivy Road in its entirety even more. And I think I should do that someday. I need to make like a Beatles ranking or something like that. But anyways, I want you she's so heavy. That's a wild guess from me. Hmm. What could that be? Could that be, I wonder? And sorry for the zoom-ins on my face in this video. You can tell I'm just excited to do this video. <laughs> oh, it's not Revolution 9, okay. Oh, this is Yellow Submarine. I never heard that part of the song. I, I, I mainly remember the opening and the chorus, so. But yeah, Ringo's voice, definitely. It's not his best, but it's definitely his most, his most unique performance. Let it be. Oh, you couldn't have made that more easier for me. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, let it be a very underrated one. Why did they put 
uh, okay, you know, and it kind of makes sense since the Giles Martin. If you can listen to the Giles Martin without like the one uh, part uh, is the instrumental and the other is the vocals, then by all means listen to these Giles Martin re uh, mixes because these are good ones. Okay, we are at the final song. Um. Could this be? Is it things we said today? No, it's not. Um, you literally just gave me an instrumental. Um, what is that? What is that song? It's it, it's it's definitely it definitely sounds like an earlier Beatles song. Definitely. It's definitely not from Please Please Me. I'm just gonna guess at this point. Till there was you. No. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna do a meme here. I know what this is. It just uh, went into my head right now. I did not get this song the first time. I should have known better <laughs> but yeah this is uh i should have known better so what album is this from I need to see okay it is from the earlier album this is from a hard day's night so i was close with things we said today because that is also from hard day's night so but yeah that shows you that i have listened to the beatles and i know my stuff from them and going back to I Want You So Heavy because I need to do a listen to Abbey Road in its entirety because I will put my uh, uh, my rankings of the Beatles albums on screen right now. But I think I, I think Abbey Road could be number one if I listen to it in its entirety, especially since it's the last one ever recorded by them. And it's a shame Let It Be got Phil Spector. So <laughs> so yeah, I love the Beatles and I've justified. All my loving for them. <laughs>